So this video is about uh, where gene therapy for uh, limb girdle muscular dystrophy and for that matter uh, for a couple other um, neuromuscular diseases stands in uh, 2019. Uh, this was a question that um, was um, actually asked to me uh, just today, but uh, many people, you know, have questions and, you know, will read a certain uh, news article out of context and uh, maybe want to know, well, where, where are uh, gene therapies, you know, where is, are they in the development process? for many different, uh, all the different diseases that they're uh, being worked on. And so I'll define uh, a few stages. There's sort of three major stages that um, uh, I'm breaking down the categorization in. There's the, what's called the preclinical stage. That means you have um, a treatment, but it's not yet in clinical trials. Uh, you haven't given it to any people yet. Uh, normally what happens is if you, you know, uh, this is not just for a gene therapy, but really for, you know, any drug or other medical treatment, uh, first you try and test it in animals. Uh, in most cases in uh, neuromuscular diseases, this would be like a mouse that you know, is missing uh, the same gene that a, a person with the disease uh, would be missing. So first you see, um, okay, uh, if you give this gene therapy to a mouse that's missing uh, a, a certain gene, uh, are they able to make the protein encoded by that gene that they couldn't make before and uh, do their symptoms actually get better? Uh, okay, so after the animal testing, uh, then uh, if it's successful, you go to clinical trials. So that means that you're giving uh, the treatment to um, patients with the disease, but it's only on an experimental basis. It's not an approved treatment. You People can only receive the treatment um, through a clinical trial. And this um, usually occurs in several stages. The first stage would be the person, um, you're only treating a, a very small number of people, and maybe you're not uh, looking for uh, actual improvement of their symptoms, but just to test, um, uh, can we make, um, you know, can the person make the protein that they couldn't make before? Uh, you're usually not treating enough um, people to really be able to prove statistically that, uh, yes, the treatment does help. Uh, but if the initial uh, trials are promising, then typically what happens is that a larger trial is organized, which then uh, would have enough patients to produce um, good enough statistics that you can show, yes, beyond a reasonable doubt, uh, this treatment definitely helps the disease. And then at that point, the, um, the developer of the treatment goes to the regulatory agency and asks for approval. So uh, once a treatment has been approved by, um, you know, the FDA, the European Medicines Agency um, has, um, you know, said, you know, yes, it's approved, then uh, it can be given to patients outside of clinical trials. So, um, this is a listing of uh, the different subtypes of limb girdle muscular dystrophy uh, that have uh, gene therapies under development, as well as a couple other neuromuscular diseases, uh, spinal muscular atrophy and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And so 
there's, you know, uh, the key is in the lower right. Uh, the ones that are in bold, actually, there's only one in bold, and um, that is for spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, that was approved a few months ago. And uh, these, uh, the labels under each disease are, you know, the current uh, developer of the treatment which can be a, um, a pharma company, a biotech company, or a research institution. Uh, often during the drug development process, uh, the uh, development uh, you know, of a certain therapy can actually you know, pass through many different hands. So the company that starts the uh, development process may not be the one that finally takes it to market. Okay, so okay, so for um, SMA there is an approved treatment. Uh, for DMD there uh, is not an approved treatment yet, but there are uh, three different companies that have gene therapy uh, in clinical trials in uh, different stages, as one as, as well as um, one uh, partnership uh, that's in uh, a preclinical stage means it's uh, you know been tested in animals but not um, been given to patients yet. Okay, for um, limb girdle muscular dystrophies, there are three different uh, genetic subtypes. Remember, each genetic subtype involves a mutation in a different gene. So for 2B, 2D, and 2E, uh, there's a single treatment under um, in clinical trials. And then for um, four other genetic subtypes, um, there aren't any in clinical trials, but there are um, gene therapies uh, at the preclinical stage. And in addition, in uh, two of the uh, two of the three um, LGMDs in in two B and two D, um, there is you know a second uh, gene therapy in the preclinical stage. So that sort of shows where we are. Um, we're starting to um, do uh, clinical trials on uh, gene therapies for LGMDs, but there aren't any LGMDs yet where there's an approved gene therapy, and there aren't any LGMDs yet where more than one company is, has a gene therapy in clinical trials, unlike the situation for DMD. So um, this is early stage, but you know we can say you know yes, um, there are uh, gene therapies in clinical trials. There are patients who have been given um, all of these gene therapies. And so that's where we are today. Um, if you're looking at this sometime after uh, 2019, uh, this slide will be totally out of date um, as things move forward. So um, I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of where things stand right now.